You need to persevere so that after you have done the will of God, you will receive what he has promised. Hebrews chapter 10 verses 36. Hello, beautiful family. A very warm welcome back to the Lovey Statue channel. Thank you so very much for coming back. Today, I'd like to share you how I make my very own special tolo beef jollof rice with this special cucumber and tuna salad. You are going to love this so much. So please stay tuned and let's get right into please it. Please do not forget to give me a thumbs up. All right. It's very, very important, right? Let's go through the ingredients. We have our tomato based stew. I've shared a recipe of my all purpose tomato stew. I have my tolo beef, my yasmin rice, and a bit of onions, bell peppers, and seasoning, and of course, some salt. So, I'm going to take care of my tolo beef now. This was homemade. If you do not know what tolo beef is, it is salted cured beef that we Ghanaians love to incorporate in our dishes it is just so flavorful i've shared a recipe of that and i'm going to link and it i will here. link it down below in the description box as well so i'm going to cut them into smaller pieces and i wash it a little bit soak it in water for about 10 minutes because this is homemade the salt was very minimal if you buy it outside you just want to soak it for more than about 30 minutes or so okay it's just to reduce the salt content in the beef so once it's done i'm going to put it in my pot and i add a bit of onions and a little bit of water cook it for about 15 minutes and i'm going to go ahead and take them out of its salt this is also a way to get rid of the excess salt all right but you know the stock that came with it it's very very flavorful so please do not throw away we will be using some part of it very very soon okay so i'm going to store it and i will begin with the rice straight up my pot i'm going to add my all-purpose to this having this at home makes life so so easy please do make yours i'm going to link it here i've shared a recipe with you it's an inspiration you need to have this at home okay i'm going to warm it up a little bit and then add my tolo beef this is also to make sure that the beef is well cooked and the salt as a salt of course is also released and this is also going to add more flavor to the stew once i add the tolo beef i'll cover it and allow it to simmer through for about seven to ten minutes on a very low heat all right So it's about eight minutes of simmering and you can see oh if you were here you would just feel that beautiful aroma from the tolo beef so so good i'm going to also add a little bit more of some curry powder and some all purpose green seasoning i'm going to share that recipe very very soon okay so i'm going to now add my washed yasmin rice i have here about five cups of it as i always say here it's very very important to wash your rice just because we do not know where it has been you know from the production from everything and it also reduces the starch content in it all right to stir very well and once everything is incorporated i will then add a little bit more of some chopped bell peppers and onions for extra flavor it's optional but trust me if you add it here this stew is already flavored but adding all these you know ingredients going to spice all the flavors up and i absolutely love it okay so once everything is also well combined i'm going to add the stock from the tolo beef mind you you just want to be very very careful with the amount of salt you're going to add here okay make sure all the stock and everything has been added taste before you add the salt all right stir very well and adjust your salt if needed and then cover it and allow it to slowly cook for about 35 minutes So 
of course we need to do some check up <laughs> in between because we do not want our rice to burn and this is our first check for the day <laughs> the water is slowly draining which is very very good i'm going to now add some cooked black eye beans i love it in here very optional but trust me it adds lots of protein and also good flavor to your tolo beef jello fries jello fries and beans is also a very good combo you need to try it okay try it for a change and trust me you're going to absolutely love it i'm now going to cover it once again and allow it to slowly cook for the next 10 minutes and we'll come back and check once again <laughs> It's always a plus to have a very good salad to go with your very good homemade jello fries. So today I decided to go with something simple. I'm going to be making some cucumber and tuna salad with a bit of tomatoes and some onions. So good. You can always add something, anything you prefer to this salad. I love the crunchiness and I love how easy it is. It's just cut every, chop everything and put everything together basically and just mix it all up it's so so good i want you to try the salad recipe with any jollof recipe that you have and you're going to absolutely love love it it's so quick just look how pretty this look it's just so beautiful in there it looks like summer <laughs> so here i am going to just sprinkle a little bit of the oil that i got from the tuna and just a little bit of salt to taste mix everything together and then add my tuna flakes you may also go ahead and add about a teaspoon of lemon juice i did not have any at home so i just did as it is and it still came out very very delicious and with the tuna flakes you want it to be chunky in there like this looks absolutely appetizing if you love your tuna please you need to try this salad recipe so so good we done with a salad a quick check on the rice and we can see here that we've lost most part of the liquids that we have in there all is gone and vanished it's a great time for us to cover it now with aluminium foil or some baking sheet or some clean clean clothes and we're going to allow this to steam very well on a low to medium heat for the next 15 minutes all right we all know that jollof rice really really needs a lot of stirring especially when you're making it in bulk like this the whole 15 minutes of steaming is still not cooked perfectly yet so i'm going to go ahead stir and cover for another 10 minutes or so all right so good it smells amazing so now this is the final check for the rice and oh my goodness the fragrance of the tolo beef and everything infused here was just amazing it is cooked perfectly so all that we have to do is to just serve and enjoy with our very delicious cucumber and tuna salad it was just such a beautiful combo and i really want you to try this recipe and you're going to absolutely love 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 it just look at that gorgeous <laughs> so there you have it family thank you so very much for watching right to the end i am really thankful that you watch right to the end please do not forget to give me a thumbs up share to a few friends and family and also if this is your first time here hello my name is lovia from lovey Statch. my main goal here is to cheer you up into making your own delicious meal right at the comfort of your home so please come on board and subscribe to join the family for amazing new recipes every week thank you so very much for watching once again and just know that you are so so beautiful just the way you are see you in my next one 